What's cracking YouTube? Your boy Giz Genius. Back on my Yo Giz shit. I got a lot of responses this time. A lot of shit to talk about. I'm gonna move through it as quickly, but as thorough as possible. So, let's get started. And I like these responses, by the way. I, it's, I've got a lot of, a lot of shit to talk about, man. That's what I'm talking about. Let me talk to y'all. Let me interact with y'all. That's what I'm talking about. I love this shit. First thing I'm gonna get to. What do I think about dirt bikes and go karts being street legal? Um, dirt bikes, I don't really see too much of a problem with. Go-karts, come on, dog. You do not want to fucking drive a go-kart on the street. Even those, those little fucking bikes, man, they'd be like this fucking big and grown-ass people fucking find a way to get on them and ride. Come on, man, cut that shit out. <clears throat> You're going to get fucked up doing that bullshit. And and let me say, man, I drive a, a 95 Lincoln to Cairo. Y'all can go back on Gears TV and see that shit, man, and... That's a big motherfucker, man. And you do not want to be in a fucking go-kart turning a corner or fucking coming through an intersection and I fuck around and not see you because you two feet from the fucking ground and smack your ass with Takara. You fucked up. You're done. You know what I'm saying? You don't want no parts of that. And... The number one cause of motorcycle accidents is the driver not seeing the motorcycle. So in a go-kart, it would be even fucking worse. That, I mean, nobody would see your ass sitting two feet from the ground, and you get ran over, smashed, fucking killed on a go-kart in the street. Please don't ride no go-kart in the street, dog. That shit should not be street legal. Um, time bomb. City and state I'm from, I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. Born and raised, lived here all my life, dog. Yes, a lot of states do have different laws. And uh, unfortunately, a lot of states are fucking have a lot in common when it comes to misabuse of police authority. A lot of police around all states abuse their authority some worse than others Kentucky is a commonwealth state which means fuck the common love the wealth so if you ain't got no money in Kentucky chances are man you gonna fucking be a victim of some fucked up police shit eventually and they do this shit because when you get to court they find the shit out of you and they want your money um Flyboy, true love. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before I get to that, I got to answer this. And apparently I skipped this in my first Yo Giz video. But how long have I been growing my hair? I've been, I started growing my hair in 1991. Um, There was a group out at the time called Criss Cross. The old motherfuckers are going to laugh at this shit. <laughs> Young motherfuckers gonna be like who? But uh yeah, crisscross man. I, I I was a huge crisscross fan. They came out, I seen the braids, the plaits they was rocking and shit. I thought it was some cool shit. It was new. Nobody else was doing it at the time. And I started growing my hair out, nineteen ninety one. For y'all young motherfuckers don't know who crisscross is, just fucking YouTube it. Google it, whatever. Y'all go see these motherfuckers listen to their music. Man, I was a huge fan back then, 1991. I was like fucking 9, 10 years old. So I've been growing my hair ever since then. I've had it cut once. I've cut some off twice. I say the first time I had it cut, I just cut the shit. It got long, I cut it. Second time, I had a ponytail. The shit locked up. I couldn't get it untangled. I cut the whole fucking ponytail off. Um, the last time... I had a hater ass cousin of mine who went to a uh, beautician school, figured she knew what she was doing. I told her to cut off like four inches. She really chopped off about eight, nine, ten. Jealousy shit. Other than that, 
I've been growing my hair since then. Um, true love, fly boy, true love. That's that's a tough one. That's 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 really a tough issue. Um, what I think about true love, man, is if you find it, hold the fuck on to it because it's rare. Do I believe in it? Do I believe it exists? Yeah, I know motherfuckers is been together forever like you know I don't know if that's a sign of the times back in the days divorce was so looked down upon so once you got a chick married once you got a chick pregnant you had to marry her once you got married you had to stay with her I mean that was the old school shit like and that's how I mean I know people that's been together and I don't know is because it was the old school customs or because they really fucking love each other. But I've been in love, man, and and it's some beautiful shit. So if you can be in love and find true love with somebody who really loves you back, that's the shit. Hold on to it. And it's not always easy, but yes, it is out there, and you got to do what the fuck you got to do to make that shit work.